All right, UNLV Michigan uh, next up. The second of the three game suspension for, of course, Jim Harbaugh. Uh, 36, 36 and a half point home favorites here, 56 and a half the total. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, it was a little over the top. Sorry, JJ McCarthy, but come on, a little over the top last week with a free Harbaugh sign on your uh, jersey there. Come on, it's not like the guys in Guantanamo Bay, you know. In yeah. prison. I mean, just, yeah. come on. No, sure. just, you know, it's a self imposed ban. He'll be fine. He'll be all right. He's going to be okay. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, Michigan, um, they didn't need Arbaugh. They still played pretty good uh, last week against um, East Carolina. We'll see if they can uh, carry that over here, which they should be able to. Um, the question is, can you – I'll tell you what, that Michigan defense, I actually thought Mason Garcia could – you know, replacing Holton Aylers, who was a multi-year starting quarterback there, not easy. I thought there'd be some better potential for East Carolina's offense last week than what we saw. But for Michigan to hold them to three points was a dominant defensive effort. I actually think this UNLV team, you know, is going to be better uh, this year. Am I ready to trust them here? Uh, you know, getting a big number. I will say this, you know, East Carolina did cover last week. You know, Michigan was 35 and a half point favorites. East Carolina got the money. You know, and I think UNLV is a little bit better uh, coming into this season. I'm not saying they're going to be, you know, uh, all of a sudden, you know, top upper echelon of the uh, Mountain West better. But, you know, I think they've definitely got potential to make some improvement uh, coming into uh, this season. Uh, Barry Odom, I like the head coaching hire uh, that they made UNLV uh, this offseason. You know, Arroyo, you know, just didn't pan out. Uh, with Arroyo here down the stretch, you know, you still have some question marks about where they're going to go at quarterback. I mean, these are some guys that, you know, they've had here for a long time with Cameron Friel and Jaden Maiava and Doug Brumfield. They've been here forever. It seems at UNLV, I'm telling you what, Michigan, we saw definite evidence last week, Connor, when that team got up by that big margin in the third quarter, it was kind of park the bus and get the game over with. And yeah. I didn't, wasn't so sure that was going to be the case. I thought even without Harbaugh on the sideline, we've seen Michigan with, show the propensity to punch in those late touchdowns when they're already up by such a huge margin. We didn't really see that last week. You know, they were taking their foot off the gas pedal. So I'd be careful here with laying 36 and a half. Um, I don't know if I'll take UNLV, but I'd take the points before I lay this many uh, with Michigan, I'll tell you that. And if you like Michigan, my advice to you would be take them first half because we definitely saw – uh, them really ease up in the second half with that commanding lead. Uh, what do you think here, Connor? UNLV Michigan. Yeah, I think if, I agree. If you like Michigan, I think uh, you look to them early. UNL, I mean, can UNLV score? Because that was like you talked about East Carolina. They didn't get a touchdown, three points, uh, and that Michigan defense looked pretty good. Man, to go there, this could be rough for UNLV. Like, I was just trying to think, can they get over their team total, which I'd have to look up. It's got to be maybe 10. I don't even know. You know, East Carolina was six and a half. You can't cover 36 and a half if you only score 30. Remember that? Yeah, no, it's true. UNLV's defense, that's what I want to get to. Because last year, at times, Babano got shredded. You know, uh, Bryant scored their touchdowns in the second half. You know, the, the, the second, third stringers were already in that. UNLV covered that game. Easy. Uh, you know, and Brum, Brumfield's the guy. He's the best guy as long as he can stay healthy. I just don't know if he can do anything uh, in this game. So, yeah, this is one uh, that I'll be watching. I think if you like Michigan, maybe take them early. I, I'm just questioning if uh, UNLV can score here. That is going to be the, the – that's going to be the key to whether UNLV – I think UNLV punches in one touchdown. They're probably going to cover, to be quite honest with you. But will they be able to do that on the road in the big house is going to be the big question.